Hello! Today we're going to be talking about a Christmas present that you can make for a loved one or a friend, somebody who trains in the gym a lot. You might also just want to make it for yourself. It might seem a bit early talking about Christmas, but it is November. Anyway, we're talking about hand care. We have to look after our hands when we train to make sure that we don't tear calluses or break nails, and that's really important because we use our hands for the majority of our exercises. Whether it be pull-ups or deadlifts or even holding the bar in a squat, it might be a leg exercise, but you still need your hands to feel happy to be able to go and do those exercises. The better you look after your hands, the better you're gonna be able to train. Now, first off, I'd like to talk about what I put in my hand care kit blooming two years ago, three years ago. Though the main thing we're gonna to do today is go through how to make a hand care kit for under 40 pounds for somebody or yourself this Christmas or July if you're watching in July. Though it's weird because it says Christmas in the title. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about my hand care kit. I kind of stopped using it because I lost a lot of the things that I was using, but I'm training again quite intensely, so I need to get this hand care kit back and get my hands nice and sturdy again. Let's show you what I've got. This tiny little bag, oh. We have got both camera one, hello, and camera two, hello again, so that I can show up close the little fun things that we have. Firstly, I had a tiny little bag, just a Slagender one. It's one that I got and took from other things. I think it had, um, fitness bands that go around your knees in them. I took them out and was like, this is a nice small size for my hand care kit because I have quite a small compact one. I didn't have the massive things. What I also had is this. This is one of the best things that you'll ever find. It is on our list today of a callus file. Um, it rubs off all the gross things that you build up on your hands and you've got a rough side on the inside that curves to your hand. And you've also got a more precise fine tuning polishing side um, so that it can get rid of those calluses and make them a lot softer. Some of you might hear me say calluses four or five times and go, what's that? They're the gross little bumpy bits that you get on your hands where you're like, oh, my fingers are peeling. If you train consistently hard enough and like do pull-ups in gymnastics, it'll get to a point where they don't start peeling off and breaking off, they will, but they get thicker and thicker until they're so solid that they're almost like an extra layer of protection. They're like a knee pad, but for your inside of your knuckles. What else do we have? We have our nail clippers. Nail clippers are super important, especially for getting our nails, um, keeping them nice and short. Let's say we're rock climbing or if we're doing pull-ups and things, jamming your fingernails into your hands is gonna be quite painful. Coca-Cola lip smacker for the lip balm. You do not need this. Tweezers, they're okay. One of these multi-tool nail thingies. Oh, loads of different blades and things to help um, fine tune. That was me being OCD about it. A balm, which I can't find this one, but we've got a different one today on the computer to show you. And some tape. These are the things that I would definitely include. So our callus filer, our nail clippers, our tape and our beautiful balm. And we're gonna show you on the screen now how, where they are, what the prices are, and kind of the recommendations that I would give. So, we're gonna start off by looking at our tape. We talked about that last in my little nice bag of bundle of things that I had from ages ago. I've come onto the internet and searched in Rock and Run, which is one of my favorite websites to go through. I'm gonna get this name wrong. Metolius finger tape. It's slightly thicker, so my one that I have is quite thin, so it would perfectly fit around one finger. This one's a bit thicker, which is good if you've got a big area that you need to tape up, or tape up a whole hand because something's going wrong, or you can use it to make certain things for when you rock climb, let's say. The reason why you would use tape is, let's say you've scraped up this area and had a cut, and you still want to train, but it's like a quick fix for if you've not got plasters, it's pretty much what it is. So you can find different widths of tape, like you can find thinner sellotape and thick duct tape. Try and check if your you know, person you're buying for, you know what they kind of like if they've bought things before. This finger tape is 405. Um, it was 450, so generally it's probably gonna be around the five pound range. You can find things that are more valuable or more, more, more expensive for different purposes. Oh yeah, look, so so here there's a couple of ones for 295, 
four pounds on decathlon and that's a pack of three but i wouldn't oh, they're okay but they're not the best cool so now we're going to talk about balm so let's say we've got our rough skin we need to have just a little bit a little bit of rough skin we can oil it up and make it a bit nicer like a lip balm you can have hand balm so you might already have a lotion that you like lotion is only a slight issue because it gets a bit more slippery but if you have this balm it's more likely to soak in the skin quicker and it's less moisturizing as it is just like healing and protecting and then it's not gonna make it as slippery you can put a tiny bit on and it covers things up nice and quickly here we've got a climb on one which an all-purpose mini bar is what it says an all-purpose mini bar sounds like a great way to get absolutely smashed this holiday season um, Will shaking his head at me without the discount that it says because it's the first time I've been on here um, says 750 seven pound fifty is probably quite nice it's mid-range you can get ones that are really cheap and you're like mm, they're okay and you can get ones that are like 12 pounds up to 15 pounds depends on how lux you want your hand care kit to be but we're, we're gonna say we're going for this six pound 71 um, which would be quite nice so if you've got calluses if it's not that you've had an injury and you need to fix it then in this situation you would just go straight to i'm gonna prevent getting damaged and ripped and teared up hands you want to make sure that your hands are nice and happy and pretty to start with so so we're doing this prevention instead of helping our injury that we already have we would use this callus file it's eight pounds and 10p or 850 if you don't include the discount it is like sandpaper you could just buy sandpaper and a lollipop stick and diy your own for much cheaper do not recommend but you could do it they've designed it in a nice way with a nice little loop that you can attach it to a bag if you need to to be able to have the two levels of i need to really get rid of a lot of gross skin on my hands and then I can smooth it out. Then you would go to your balm to make it nice and pretty so that it would, you know, smooth it out even more and moisturize what the new skin that you've just released into the air to be oxidized. So that's what I would do first. I would file and then I would put the balm on to try and make your hands a little bit happier. So those are the three things I would definitely say you should get for anybody in any gym scenario if they train a lot and they start getting rough hands. Oh, and nail clippers which is next. So these are pretty much just bog standard, large nail clippers, 82 millimeters of built in nail files, heavy duty, stainless steel sharpness, thick toenail, fingernail cutter for men and women. A Masrac. A Masrac nail clippers, they're just nail clippers. Th these ones are the cheaper ones. The ones I got were two quid at some point because you just need some nail clippers that are gonna clip your nails. You can also use the file that was for your calluses on making your fingernails really nice and pretty. The shorter the nails, the better, because again, like I said before, it's not gonna stab your hands whilst you're doing pull-ups or if you're gripping things with deadlifts, you're not gonna accidentally jam them into something if you're going quite quickly and not focusing as much or getting it caught on things. It's a clipper, get rid of your nails. This next one is actually super fun. Um, not many people know about these things. Uh, they are hand hotties, but they are rechargeable. What's a hand hottie, you ask, Alec? Well, this is Lifestyle Systems Reusable Hand Warmer. If you are in a gym that either has aircon or during winter doesn't have any heating and is just a warehouse and you have to heat up with your own body heat, the studio can sometimes get very chilly. Um, if I get here in a very early morning and the heating's been off overnight and I've forgotten to turn it on to be able to heat me up, so I come in and I go, and I can see all my breath. It can be cold. If I then grab a very, very cold barbell, it's even colder and your hands start to feel like they're not working. Uh, so I like these. What it is, is it's a tiny little gel packet with one of those clickers on the inside that as soon as you click it, an exothermic reaction, now we're getting into chemistry, it gets hot and solid and the gel turns into this nice warm brick of heat and you hold onto that for dear life to warm your fingers up. It is the nicest way to keep your hands really warm so that then when you come to grab onto a cold bar or a cold kettlebell or dumbbells, it's not that much of an issue and you can still move your fingers. Same thing with rock climbing. If let's say someone's a rock climber and going out during winter, you crazy fools, you rebellious, amazing people. I'm so glad you're going out doing fitness. Sometimes you'll need to literally warm up your hands. Uh, so these are really brilliant. Uh, they, it says for camping, hiking, skiing, and walking. But again, we do know cold gyms, rock climbing, 
just being inside at home and it recharges so it's a really good kind of eco-friendly way to also have a hand hotty heater instead of just opening those packets that are hot and then you have to throw that thing in the bin so i really recommend these the last thing to talk about is storage i would recommend again this is our trying to keep it to a nice budget of below 40 pounds nice and simple boots clear cosmetic bag it doesn't have to be boots super drug go to a pound land find a nice like when you've got a nice kind of almost smallish makeup bag and you've got all of your hand care kit in there and it can just whack in your backpack that you take to the gym it's a great way to store it and also it's it's quite easy and cheap. It's not too crazy, it's not elaborate. Um, it, it's, it's got some fun bits. Again, saying with budget and what you wanna buy for other people or if it is for yourself, you can buy a couple of things and have a smaller little part of like, hey, I got you some cool nail clippers and this nail file and this callus file, that'll work. Or if you go, here's just this new balm, I thought that'd be nice because I know that you rock climb a lot. The Life System hand hotties sometimes seem a bit irrelevant, um, people will be like, huh? And then you make them use it for the first time and they go, this is the best invention that's ever been created. Thank you so much for giving it to me, is what I've had four times from giving these gifts to people. So hopefully that was some good advice with also how to look after your hands, but also how to make a really fun present this Christmas. Thank you for watching today. If you found this enjoyable and you think you're probably gonna buy a couple of these things, we are gonna try and drop as many of these links in the bio as possible. Again, we don't get anything from it. We just want it easier for you to find. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, that'd be really helpful for us to be able to reach other people and give better information to others. And also, if you subscribe, that means you get to see a video every week because we're gonna do another one next week. Right, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.